Looks good. Guess I'll take it. Hey, you! Yes? You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No, I do. Ah, uh, thank you. Good morning, Ryo. Morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah, did you? Yes, I did. Good. I'm going to head out then. Okay, take care. You too. Come to train? You can practice your kung fu on a wooden dummy or polish your techniques by sparring. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? I'd appreciate it. A match against multiple opponents? If that's what you want, your opponents this time are a pair of seasoned fighters. They will be tough opponents indeed. a remarkable victory. It takes a lot to impress Gui Tong Hu. Come back again. You're welcome here anytime. We're not going anywhere.
Maybe I should play one. Probably won't top that. I'll keep going. I'll pass. Excuse me. Sorry, but I've given up fortune telling. Oh? I can tell you what happened if you want. Maybe later. It all started with this book. It was a fortune telling book I got while on a trip. With this book, I'll get rich telling fortunes. Or so I thought. Things got so bad that I had to close up shop. I was right one out of every hundred readings. Really not that bad if you ask me. <sighs> I guess I just wasn't cut out for this work. Okay, thanks anyway.
I've got to eat something. Excuse me. I can tell you which number will bring you great fortune. My lucky number, eh? Precisely. For 10 yuan. Want me to? You do, don't you? Another time. Oh? Well, it's your fate. Come back when you want to know more.
Dice. Welcome and thank you. This is Road on Top. First, do try it. Now then, let us begin. My roll, indeed. Total love, four. You seem to have the upper hand, good sir. Total love, eight. Felicitations! Not bad, good sir. Want to try again? Maybe some other time. Would it be in your wishes to have some fun? Excuse me. Oh, it's you again. Hey, um... Look, if you want to talk, get your ass in the ring. You win, I talk. Got it? Fine. All right. It's yours for 800 tokens. Here. All righty. Let's get started. And now, for today's special bout! I don't know who he is, but give this drifter some applause! Huh? And his fearsome opponent? Feast your eyes on the ultimate weapon! Forged through endless practice at the port, the Mad Eagle, Riff Tamblin! You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Here's your 
Here's your reward. Thank you. Um... Huh? You want something? Please tell me about the martial arts expert. Martial arts expert? Yes. You said you knew something. Oh, that! Please tell me. Why don't you ask at the martial arts shop over there? Why? Did you think I would know about what martial arts styles look like? Right. I'm sure you can find out at the martial arts shop. That's what I know. I see. Thank you. Excuse me. Ah, welcome to my shop. I'd like to ask something about martial arts. I love martial arts. Ask me anything. I saw a form with a strange stance. I was wondering if you could tell me its style. Interesting. Tell me more about it. The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. And the stance? The guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Hmm. Do you know what this style is called? I need more to go on. Anything else you can tell me? There were animal movements mixed in. Animal movements? There are so many. It could be the white crane, snake style, tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. What kind of animals? If I were to guess... Those moves... He looked like a snake. Snake, you said? There is a unique form called snake style. Any other animals? Those moves. He looked like a monkey. A monkey? The Xing Yi Liu He Chen teaches a so called monkey form. Any other animals? Those moves.
He looked like an elephant. Elephant, eh? That's news to me. Maybe go to India if it's elephants you're after? Any other animals? Those moves. He looked like a bear. Huh. First I've heard of that in the Xingyi trend. Any idea what it might be? Not a clue. Sorry, bud. Okay, thanks. I'll try asking elsewhere. Excuse me. Welcome to my shop. I'd like to ask something about martial arts. Sure thing. We're a wooden dummy store, so I know a thing or two about martial arts. I saw a form with a strange stance, and I was wondering if you could tell me its style. Possibly. Can you describe what it looked like? The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. I see. And the stance? The guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Hmm. Do you know what this style is called? That really isn't enough for me to surmise. Could you describe it more? There were animal movements mixed in. Animal movements? There are so many. It could be white crane, snake style, tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. Resembling which animals? If I were to guess... That movement... It reminded me of a snake. Snake style. There's a snake form in the Xingyi trend discipline. What other animal styles can you remember? That movement.
It reminded me of a monkey. The monkey style. I've heard of the monkey fist. What other animal styles can you remember? That movement. It reminded me of a dragon. A dragon? I think there is a dragon fist. What other animal styles can you remember? That movement. It reminded me of a panda. A panda? All they do is chew on bamboo and sleep. Where's the kung fu in that? So, do you have any idea what style it was that I saw? Hmm. No idea. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more assistance. Okay. Thanks anyway. I'll ask someone else. Pardon me. You're a martial arts guy, right? Well, yeah. Wait, for real? I was just saying that to make conversation. I just took over the shop, so I'm still learning. I see. Feel free to teach me some stuff. My name's Ting Chung, by the way. I'll, uh, keep that in mind. Excuse me. What is it? I'd like to ask something about martial arts. Oh, I'm in the middle of studying it myself, so I guess I could help. I saw a form with a strange stance. I was wondering if you could tell me its style. Well, go on. Tell me more about it. The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. And what of his stance? The guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Hmm. Do you know what this style is called? That's not enough information. Can you tell me anything else? There were animal movements mixed in. Now this I do know. Uh, where do I start? There's the white crane, snake style, and even a tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. Like which animals? If I were to guess... Those moves. He looked like a snake. The name says it all. Looks like a snake, I guess. What other animal styles were there? 
those moves. He looked like a leopard. It looks more like going in for a bite rather than a punch. What other animal styles were there? Those moves. He looked like a dragon. Dragon fist. Sounds really strong. But I don't think anyone's ever seen one. Actually, no. Say no more. I get what you want to say. Anything else you can remember? Those moves. He looked like a bear. It looks pretty strong. Better just play dead. Any idea what it might be? I'm basically still a grasshopper, so I have no idea. I see. I guess I should look into it too. Got it. Thanks. You should take a look at the other shops. Doesn't bother me. Uh-huh. Look at the time. I should get back to the hotel. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? Niawu has martial arts supply stores, right? Yes, both near the hotel and closer to the center of town. I need to know what style the boss of the Red Snakes uses, so I can find its weaknesses. I figure someone at a supply store might know. Good idea. Liao, I'm going to go back to the room. Okay. Fishing to hit it big, eh?